their best star in franchise history. The Union are on top of the world of Major League Soccer. The top team in the league looks to stay red hot on the road on a chilly night up in Toronto. Welcome to Union Soccer from our six ABC studios. I'm Jeff Skaversky alongside former Union star Sebastian Latou. Talk about getting off on the right foot. The Union, the last team in Major League Soccer, undefeated. And tonight they go for a franchise record, six straight wins. Jim Curtin's message to the team this week, keep that edge. You don't want to get too comfortable. Of course, that's easier said than done. Yes, it is, especially when you go in Toronto, who is getting much better right now three games undefeated you know under new coach Bob Bradley and uh, you know coming here with you know being the only undefeated team in the league it's a lot of pressure and you know Toronto wants to beat them tonight so it's gonna be a tough game on a cold night but I think they can do it they keep playing as a team has been doing from the beginning of the season they have really been sharp both sides of the ball let's take a look inside these impressive numbers what a start they lead Major League Soccer in points in wins nobody's been better on defense they've been getting off to fast starts and that's that is proven dividend. Yes, and we talk about it. You know, all the results come from the back and the offense. It's a team effort, not just one or two individuals. It's from everybody, and you can see from the start, first, first, second, and first, which is very impressive, but it proves that there's a lot of quality in this team, and they can really get it done again tonight. It was all even in both of the matches between these two teams last year. A 1-1 draw in Chester was followed up with a 2-2 split at Stad Saputo in October. We'll see if anyone walks away with the three points today. We'll have starting lineups and opening kickoff when Union Soccer and PHL 17 returns. Alumni Gymnasium is the site for today's MAC Conference battle between the Ryder Bronx and the Marist Red Foxes. Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for joining us here on ESPN3. Alongside Josh Safran, I'm Chris Markowitz, and today's battle between Ryder and Marist is an important match in the MAC Conference, still very early on in the conference slate, but these are two teams that were picked to finish at the top of the conference standings. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Ryder picked to finish second in the MAC. Don't let their record fool you this season. They've had a very tough out-of-conference schedule, and when they have gone into conference, they're out seven players due to COVID, having some players playing positions they're not comfortable in. I expect to see them to get back into form starting today. Maris picked to finish fourth in the conference, but off to a 4-1 and one start in conference action. Let's take a look at yesterday's match for the Bronx. It was a tough loss at home as Ryder was up two sets to one but couldn't hold on. They lost to Siena in five sets. Yeah, it was an absolute slugfest. I mean, this one went all five, like you said, over two hours. But I'm trying to figure out what Ryder did wrong. Their leading hitter, Morgan Romano, got 23 kills, and the team as a whole only had three reserve errors. You're not going to lose too many games when you can serve-receive like that. So if they keep the serve-receive well, I expect them to bounce back today. On the flip side, the opponent for the Bronx here today, the Marist Red Foxes, are coming off of a big win yesterday against St. Peter's. They won in three straight sets, and it looked easy. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, anytime you can sweep, you'll take it. And when you play back-to-back -back matches, back-to-back -back days, this is a Marist team that was able to rest their starters. We'll talk about Sa Sasha Vander Murray in just a second. Only had to play one set yesterday, so expecting fresh legs, fresh arms to swing from Marist. You mentioned the name Sasha Vander Murray, and that is a name to be on the lookout for here today at Alumni Gymnasium, one of the most talented players in the MAC this year. Oh, absolutely. Certainly offensively. You see it here, 198 kills. That's good for 4.04 kills per set. That's tops in the MAC. So Vander Murray, the Canadian killer, Ryder's going to have to put a block on number five, find out where she is all over the court. Javier Vidal took it away from Philippe. Passes oh. inside, Taylor Bay shot! Oh! Ryder. Ryder will win! And they will go to the title game! Ben Cohenfield has exploded! Ryder is pumped!